In an interview, Kickboxing Federation President Stanley Nandek said that the aim is to push the athletes in the code to a higher level. Um, we are actually soon going to be a partner with K1 Japan, which is uh, one of the biggest kickboxing league in the world. Uh, this is where the platform or where uh, the professional uh, program begins. So that's why it's a very, very important event for us in our calendar and also to see them um, moving into next level of uh, the profession in terms of kickboxing uh, professional sport is. Uh, most of these fighters have been just fighting under amateur and I think one of the, our goals is to develop them in a young age rather than spending so much of time in amateur, just gold and silver and medals, I think it's not really worth. <laughs> Nandex that I elaborated. We have, um, uh, we have a number of uh, international events. Um, we have amateurs that are preparing end of this year into World Championships. Uh, this one goes directly to uh, K1 events, arrangement. Most of these fighters will be sent to Thailand and Japan for training because K1 has got different requirements in terms of the standards, the trainings, the facilities. So that arrangement is still uh, ongoing. Uh, my job is to make sure that I get the best out of this July 7th and it will be managed by different, different management. Amateur will be run by different, uh, different management. So I will be more focusing on uh, semi-pro or professional fighters. So this is also very important for these athletes to now move them into next level of training and expertise and uh, how we can link them in terms of the professional uh, sports. Jonathan Sibona, Tukai Sports.